What is good, guys? I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, I'm recording this video actually on Thursday. I know it's Friday when you are watching this and you might be a little bit confused, but I have to announce that my grandmother just passed away, so I am not available to actually record um, enough videos for every single day of the week. I'm going to be unavailable on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe Monday. But overall, guys, I still recorded a ton of videos for every single day of the week. So you're still going to see videos, but I do apologize if they are a little bit off. They were recorded a little bit earlier and I am releasing them just to keep you guys entertained and help you guys learn about updates that are happening. So I am updating you guys, but my updates may be a little bit late because, you know, once again, I can't record, but it doesn't matter because in this video, I'm going to give you my stock price prediction for Tuesday. As you know, I'm not saying Monday because the stock market is closed on Monday. It is in regards to Labor Day. The stock market is going to be closed, so we're not going to see any price or much price movement for AMC because the market is closed. But on Tuesday, I'm going to give you my stock price prediction. I'm going to talk about what is happening. I'm not going to talk too much about specific things like the dark pools and all that because I do not have the data for Friday. It's going to be outdated, so that's why I'm not going to talk too much about those types of things. I'm just going to talk about the technicals. I'm also going to talk about something that Adam Aaron just tweeted, which is very, very, very interesting and makes me... It just warms my heart okay so before i get started i have to mention two quick things first of all i'm not a financial legal or taxation expert so not take this as financial legal or taxation advice you know all that good stuff also please smash that like button and subscribe if you want if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me but benefits the entire ape community as a whole so with that said and done guys let's just get on with this video i know a lot of people can be a little bit sad because life happens guys there there are going to be tough times people you love are they eventually will pass away i mean it's sad I mean, it just happens. It's part of life. But this is the reason why we remain strong. This is why we take risks and do the things that we are doing. So when it comes to the overall price movement of AMC, we could just see this upward trend over the past month. So I, I, I'm going to go back, okay? I'm not going to tell you that you're up in your money. AMC is you know, so green right now. Because look, at the, at the six-month chart, there were a ton of people that started buying it when it was in the 50s and 60s. And you may be down on your money. I totally understand that. However, even though I can't give you financial advice, what I can tell you is there is still massive potential for AMC to make a massive, massive comeback. If you look at the six-month chart, you can see this beautiful, absolutely beautiful gamma squeeze up to the $72.62 range. And obviously, AMC could have gone much, much, much higher. But if you consider the dark pool activity and the short volume percentage and all the things that have been going on, I mean, I don't know what the dark pool uh, volume was for Friday, but I can presume that since the past few months, it has been fluctuating between the, uh, I would say, mid 50s to the 70% range. Once again, 55 to 70% of AMC's trades have keep been happening on the dark pools. And that's absolutely crazy. It's horrible that's happening. That's why we are fighting. But looking at the overall trend, I'm going to give you my stock price prediction. But Check this out right over here. You can see AMC is forming this U shape over here. Check out this U shape right here. So let me bring up a Bollinger chart right here. I love showing Bollinger charts because you can see the overall significant movements of AMC. It was super significant when it hit uh, $72.62 a share. It had many, many significant movements. Even right now, we're still in a significant upward trend. And this is just an indicator right where my cursor is. You can see that this is an indicator that AMC has entered the bullish cycle. So when I let me remove the chart right here and i think the three month chart should show this nope i would say the six month chart so looking at the six month chart let me try zooming in just a little bit you could see amc was on an upward trend it was overall in a bullish cycle right over here up until around june it was still part of the bullish cycle right over here because it had lots and lots of resistance and strong, strong, strong support simultaneously. And it formed this pennant. But when pennants like this form, that's typically a sign that there'd be a breakout either in the downside or the upside. But it ended up going on the downside. So this is when the a downward trend cycle entered this is when the bearish cycle entered amc was in a bearish cycle as and before you attack me and tell me what are you talking about i'm gonna tell you the uncomfortable truth and that is amc was in a bearish cycle you could see this downward trend right over here went from when it was 72 dollars and 62 cents a share and this is why some people may still be down on their money but i kid you not guys there's still great news there's still light at the end of the tunnel and that is the fact that it appears that this bearish cycle has come to an end. We're no longer in the bearish cycle. We're entering the bullish cycle right over here. And why am I saying that? Well, look at the one-month chart. It just started about a month ago. You could see AMC was around 
It reached a low of around the $28 level of support. It stair stepped its way up to the 32. It stair stepped its way again to the 40, which is where we closed. Now, I'm not 100% sure where it closed on Friday. It could have been a little bit down, maybe around 40, could have been up high, around, maybe around 45, maybe around 42, that level of uh, support right over there. It's possible. So I don't really know exactly where it closed. I did predict it would probably be around the $42 range, just a little bit higher than the 40, because the 42 is where it has strong support, or it could just be a little bit higher. But once again, Again, guys, based on technicals, it may close around 42. You guys will know if I'm right or wrong. I do not know 100% where it's going to close because of all the manipulation, all those things going on. And I am using technical analysis, which tends to be accurate, but it's not always 100% accurate because of manipulation and all those other things, nuances in the market. But you have to remember that even though these things are going on, even if AMC ends up closing at like 38 on Friday, even if it closes there, and I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying that. I am still bullish for AMC for next week. I still believe there's going to be a huge move coming. I still believe that we're set for not just a gamma squeeze, but a potential FOMO rally. And why am I saying that? Well, like I said before, we've entered the bullish cycle. We've literally had our lowest level of support around the $28 range. And now we're coming right back up. We're still stepping our way up and the support is building up. The volume is picking up. AMC is getting ready to literally rip up. So for my stock price prediction, I do think that AMC should test the $48 level resistance and potentially, potentially break it by next week. I do think that's going to happen. We should be in the 50s by next week. Tuesday and maybe Wednesday around that time, but it is a shorter week, so I'm not 100% sure if that's going to have an effect, but it may end up having an effect a little bit on the downside. So I do think that AMC should be in the 50s. It'll probably consolidate and close around the mid to high 40s by next week for Friday. So what I'm trying to tell you is look at this upward trend. It went from 28 then 32 then 40, and it's currently at 44. And once again, this is Thursday, so I know my data may be a little bit off, but I'm just letting you guys know it's stair stepping its way up, it's building levels of support, and it's getting stronger. So today, the dark pool activity was around the 70s. It's it's crazy that AMC is just this manipulated, and despite this manipulation, it still has these big days. So I am still bullish for AMC. I still think we should see the 50s by next week. I still think we should consolidate and close around. Uh, by the end of next week, maybe around the mid to high 40s before we get ready for more and more uh, legs up. So what I'm trying to say is that we're stair-stepping our way up and we are looking really, really, really good. But an important date to remember is Friday, September 24th. It is the World Gorilla Day. And Adam Aaron said that on 9-24, he's allowing people to rent any of the nine planets of the Apes movies on AMC theaters on, on demand. And they're going to give $3.99 of all the proceeds, every single sale, to the Deanne Fossey Gorilla Fund or GorillaFund.org to help the Wildlife Conservation Society and to help, you know, gorillas out there become you know, cared for, get support that they need because they are an endangered species. So it's huge, huge, huge love for gorillas, for the ape movement, for what Adam Aaron is basically hinting at. I mean, there are only so many things he can say as CEO for legal reasons. I'm not a legal advisor, but just entertainment purposes only. But I'm just letting you know about what Adam Aaron has said. And this is big news for September 24th. So I'm not going to set any dates. I'm not going to tell you MC is going to squeeze on September 24th. But I am saying that it's possibly... A potential catalyst for a green day so with that said and done guys i want to thank you so much for listening you guys know my prediction and i just wanted to end this video by saying just think i mean i can't force you to do anything but if you want if you want to become stronger in the stock market or in your life you have to find that will you have to find that why. Why are you doing this? Who is motivating you to buy and hold AMC? You could think about your grandma. You could think about someone that passed away, your parents, your mom, your sister, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever it is, guys. Just think about them. Let them motivate you. And just think about the life you want to give them. I would rather take a risk and try to build wealth than just give up, guys, and be pessimistic. With that said, guys, do not ever give up on your dreams. Never, ever stop fighting and surround yourself with great people. Thank you so much for all the love and support, guys. It really means a lot. And I really, really apologize that I won't be recording um, for the next upcoming days. I did record, pre-record some videos which are going to be uploaded every single day still. But I just want to let you guys know that you should never give up. I want to thank you for all the love that you've given me. And I still admire this community. We are a family and we never, ever give up. So thank you guys. I really wish you have a great rest of the day. And we are pushing and fighting and we are ape strong. With that said, peace out.